Hi, Way Church. I'm Steph, and I'm here with president and founder of Whole Way House, Jenny Konkin. So thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. As a church, we just really believe in partnerships. Um, we believe that it's really valuable to come alongside both local and global organizations in the work that they're doing as learners and participants to take the time to understand the work they're doing and see the needs and the injustices that they're seeking to fill and then come alongside them and help to fill those needs and really partner with them in the work that they're doing. Well, we're so excited um, to even hear about churches in our community who are looking for ways to partner. At Holway House, we provide community building programs and tenant support services to low-income seniors, veterans, people with disabilities, and residents in the downtown east side, and now even across Vancouver, um, so that we are helping people to come out of isolation and loneliness, as well as meet their needs uh, in a practical way. So a lot of our tenant support services would revolve around immediate needs like helping with uh, medical appointments. It could be things like um, replacing ID or helping with a bank account, budgeting services, anything that could help somebody really retain their housing, but then also thrive in their community through our community building programs. So Jared and I actually had the privilege to come down to Holway House and it was really encouraging to meet some of the residents and see the work that you're already doing. So thank you so much for that. Um, and Jenny is president and founder of this organization. And so I would love to know what's the gap that you saw that motivated you to start Holway House? Yeah, actually it was interesting because um, I came into working in the downtown east side through my grandparents' SRO. And my entire life that had been a part of our lives. And so when my dad was diagnosed with cancer, my brother and I went to take over the buildings so we could spend more time with our family. And, um, but coming in, we had this attitude, like we were just gonna save the downtown east side. We could fix all the problems. We could get everyone jobs and clothes and food. And um, I think God was probably like, oh, you're so cute. <laughs> what, a, what a cute idea. No one's tried that before. Uh, so. The first couple years were very, very humbling as we got to know the residents and really see them as people and where they were at. We saw that the inner issue that they were facing was isolation and loneliness. Mm -hmm. And in fact, in my first few months working there, there was a gentleman who passed away in his room. And it was really hard for me to deal with because I had never had to deal with anything like that before. Um, as I was trying to find out anything about him, I was asking the other residents, and out of 85 people who lived there, no one could tell me anything about him. In fact, most people didn't even know his name. And so that was heartbreaking. And I realized people don't have to live completely alone and then die completely alone. And so the, meet, the need that we saw that we wanted to meet was to create a healthy, welcoming and supportive community where people could come and really find a sense of self-worth and dignity and value and know that they had a place that they belonged. And that was how we started. We really, we just started very simply. Uh, we started with our reconnect programs, which is, you know, games nights and family dinners, sitting down and eating together. Um, that was a really big part of what we did because most people were used to getting a meal, maybe at a food lineup or a soup kitchen, and taking it home and eating by themselves. And so uh, a part of building that culture together was really creating a sense of family, a sense of community, something that they didn't have, and a sense of safety in their own home. And so um, that, was, that was our first motivation, was how do we combat this isolation and loneliness, and really coming from a place of um, living in shame. And so uh, in order to understand that they were loved and had value, we just had to first reconnect with them. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for sharing the background and the story of Holby House. It is just great to learn. And I know there's so many different programs running and just to understand more of the actual process and what you're practically doing, um, just to improve the lives of seniors who don't have family and don't have support and actually creating community for them. Um, so the next question is, so the Way Church is watching this video and learning more about you and Whole Way House. So what are different ways that people, people have partnered with you in the past? I know our small groups are gonna be looking for opportunities to serve. And so what are the different things that we'll potentially be working on? Oh my goodness. So one of our favorite things actually is when a church comes alongside us, it is such a blessing because first of all, one of the things that we do is build organic and authentic relationships. And so um, I think having believers come into the downtown east side and really 
um, show practical love by building relationships with people is amazing. And I think it's, it's you know, walking out the gospel. It's, it's taking care of the poor. And so um, not just by, uh, you know, us giving a handout, but actually um, being in community with people and being in relationship with people. So um, when we have our programs running like super smoothies and family dinners and all those great things that we can share community together, uh, we love to really fill our programs with volunteers because that's the opportunity that you get to sit down. You know, you're enjoying a healthy smoothie and it's such a great way to break the ice and you can start conversation. So we love having volunteers for that. Uh, we also love having um, small groups come together because it's a great way to bond and, and have something to do together, but also you can get a lot done as a group. And so sometimes we have special projects, like it might be working in a garden at one of our seniors' buildings or um, helping. Sometimes we have a senior who has a disability and they're not able to do the deep cleaning of their home. And so we'll go in for a few hours and just scrub everything down and get it back to clean for them so they can really be proud of their home. Uh, so that's a great way. Sometimes we have people actually um, volunteer their gifting. So maybe you're really great at social media or maybe you're really great at photography and you want to help out with an event or you know host a fundraiser all those ways are great ways to get involved and and some people love to do things behind the scenes and that's great and we all have a place um, for volunteering and so when people get in touch with us we really want to find out you know what in what way do you want to serve and what would be um, your best talent to put forward and that's that's a huge gift to us uh, we're a small team and so the more the more people the merrier because it really does build such a great community thanks so much for sharing different ways that we can help out i think it's really encouraging to just see your philosophy of understanding a volunteer's talents and wanting to use that and so as a church and as a small group that's a way that you'll be able to determine ways that you're gifted and then chat with jenny and figure out different ways that you can help out at Holway house so before we wrap up, I'd love to know just different ways that as a church, we can be praying for you specifically and for Holway House. Oh, that's amazing. We're um, right now, as we're growing so quickly, uh, one of the things that we're looking for prayer is that God would just open the right doors to the right buildings. We have um, hundreds, if not thousands of low income seniors living in our city who don't have access to support services. And so it leads to so many further issues and what we really believe is in prevention. And so as we partner with our provincial government, we're working with the city really closely, um, just that the right doors would open, that we would be able to support people where they're at and be proactive. Um, we're, we're working so hard to um, model the investment of being proactive versus reactive, especially when it comes to homelessness we see how incredibly expensive it can be um, it's so harmful to the human who's experiencing homelessness as well as us as society um, are it pushes us farther away from each other and so at Holway House we're working on proactive ways to prevent homelessness uh, working with our government and really and with partners we're actually now working with private partners who want to help us um, grow and and continue to replicate our program into more buildings for for seniors who need it and church if you want to find out more about Holway House just visit holwayhouse.ca um, and you can also visit the waychurch.ca slash partnerships and there you'll be able to find current opportunities to help out with Holway House and our other partnerships.